Hello, my name is Brandon Walkers, a personal trainer at LiveSalesForceTraining.com. One of the most basic and reoccurring tasks you will have as an administrator is resetting passwords and troubleshooting why users cannot log in. The first thing you should do is check the user's login history. As an admin or if you have permissions to manage users, go to your name, setup, on the far left, administration setup, manage users, and then users or start typing users into the quick find and scroll down to see the user section. You can now see a list of your users. Find the user that's having issues logging in. We'll use Sam Smith as an example. From here, scroll all the way down to the bottom where you will find the login history related list. You could check in the login time, source IP, login type, status, application, and the login URL. While troubleshooting logins, we look for a successful status, meaning that the user was able to log in successfully. Some other statuses here are restricted IP. This means that the user is having trouble logging in from a restricted IP address. The user has tried logging into Salesforce from a computer not on the whitelisted networks in their profile. So we could switch into the user's profile, which is a sales profile, and scroll all the way down to login IP ranges. They will need to give you their IP address information and current location to be whitelisted or move their workstation to an already whitelisted location. If you are not familiar with how IP addresses work, contact your network administrator so you don't lock yourself out of Salesforce. Going back to our login history, there's additional statuses such as restricted time. Restricted time means that the user was trying to access Salesforce outside of the schedule listed on their profile. The user may need their profile updated with login hours that are more appropriate or just instruct them to wait until the set time frame when access is available. If needed, you should then review their time schedule located in their profile. Going back to our user, we also have invalid password from other Apex API. This means the user could have entered their password and or security token incorrectly via an external program such as the data loader or Salesforce for Outlook. This may take longer to diagnose and require additional questions related to the application they are using. The most common is invalid password from our Salesforce application. This means that the user has entered their password wrong. If needed, you could always go to the top of the page and click on Reset Password. This will send the user an email prompting them to change their password. Additionally, you should review your password policies. To get to Password Policies, type in Password in the Quick Find and then scroll down to Password Policies. From here you could review your password policies and instruct users how to create more secure passwords that match with your corporate policies. For more tutorials and to sign up for classes, please visit LiveSalesForceTraining.com.